I feel like one of those things that I procrastinate the most is getting the boys done. I mean, it happens, but it happens less than the girls, meaning the trimming their hooves or even bringing them to the stand. There are certain things that I can do in their pen, like checking their formage score or even checking the temperature, how I showed you last time with Rocky, but they're smelly, they're just coming out of the rut, and there's a couple of things that I need to address. Over here I brought the basics for the boys, the selenium, the brush, the trimmers, some copper, I, some scissors, some syringes, cotton rounds or cotton balls, I think I have it in there, with some alcohol to clean the top of the iver ivermectin, just in case that they need to be dewormed. And something I'm gonna do extra today the rod was really a lot for Taz, and the top of his head has no hair. It's just because of him rubbing against the fence. So I'm gonna try to, I'll show you what that looks like. Girls? Ooh, hello, ladies. My name is Rocky. Do you remember me? Yeah, cute. Oh goodness. How cute is that boy? Go say hi to him, Mocha. Say I know you. Come on, baby. Come on, Rox. Come on, baby. It's like I rather stay here with the squirrelies. Oh, is it scary? He's come. Oh, that's hope. She is scary. So scary. Come on, little man. Rocky, you're too heavy for this. Oh, right here, Bobby. Right here. Right here. Oh. Did you lose something? Leave this boy alone. I just love your rocks. Your hair is so long. <laughs> Did you have to poop there? Unnecessary. I know. Let me make it pretty for the girls, okay? The girls like a good looking buck. You're a very good looking buck. Ooh, you look amazing, good boy. Now, somebody ate my bowl is gone. So I'm gonna put the, the copper in one of these, the copper rods probably not gonna want to eat it so I'm gonna entice him with some grain until I see that he eats it all and I've seen this this is not something I came up with I saw this featured and that's why I wanted to research it a little bit more on Deborah Neiman's she has a video that shows that this is how she gives copper to her goats and I thought to myself this is genius because the boys wouldn't mind they don't get grain so they will lick it clean and there are still some pieces but nothing that a little bit more grain is not gonna help him consume now he was last time given on I think it was May of last year and he's been doing great but I've noticed that there are some spots that are not on his head like that he's missing hair so sometimes that's that's just how he shows that he needs some copper it's not bad I'm the time I gave it to him I didn't use the gun either and you know it took me from May last year till now to realize that he needed copper and I don't just do it on a schedule I just do it when I notice that they need it you're so handsome, little man. You're so handsome.
handsome and you're not so little anymore. You're a big boy. Okay, I know, I know, I know. You think you hate this, but you actually always love it. And remember, it's the good stuff. The good, good stuff. I want you to be all sticky and uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I'm a terrible person. I love you though. You're very handsome and I think you're very, very, very sweet. So he doesn't need ivermectin. We're gonna skip that part. But I'm going to use a little bit of vetricin. It will focus on that. This is the pink eye solution and the only difference between this and the regular vetricin is that this one is a little bit more concentrated. I'm gonna put it over there and over his skirts because he has a little bit of blood on top. I'm gonna let it dry for a second. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of owl shield. Let me see if I can fall. Who's in this? There you go. That's what I'm gonna spray on him. And mostly it's just to protect it. Um, this says that needs to be dry. I just wait for a few seconds and then I put it on. Oh, you're just like your daughter. You start shaking when you're done, huh? You're okay. You're cold. Alright. It is time for you to go, okay? My man? You're free. You're a free man. Come on. Bye, Rocky. You're a good man. Cass is gonna come super hungry when he sees the food, so I'm gonna do his copper right here. There you go. Just put an entire pail. Set it there, and then I'll add little by little grain so he'll eat it. That's your child, Annabelle. Don't even think about it. Are too old for this. Get it. That's your brother and that's your son. Do not even think about it. You look great. You look great. There you go. You're good. You're good. We're gonna wait. I know, it's so scary. So scary to be wet, right? Sir? There you go. With the boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Do you want more food? Do you have, do you want more food, baby?
Look, Bria remembers him. It's like, that's my baby daddy. Hi, baby daddy. Ooh. What? Oh, hello. Hi. Are, th are those... Are those my babies? He's like, uh, are you my baby mama? Yes. This way. There you I know you're done. You're such a big boy now. Good. All right. You're done. Sir, you're done. Thanks for coming. Come back soon.